So a, a lot of people with Parkinson's disease complain with, um, with a reduced sense of uh, smell. Um, but if that is true, it's not true the opposite. So it doesn't mean that a lot that people that have a reduced sense of smell will necessarily in the future develop Parkinson's disease. There might be several other causes like sinus infections or other things related to the lack of sense of smell. Um, nevertheless, um, there seems to be a connection between reduced sense of smell and Parkinson that might speak to the cause or the, the way that Parkinson develops. That might not necessarily begin directly into the brain, but maybe in the periphery and then migrates into the brain. That's the reason why the reduced sense of smell becomes a very interesting topic of research.